from Zen doesn't matter. Meg begs Oprah for money to become a Weight Watchers ambassador, but Oprah says no. Because of the Duchess's overindulgence in own Piek, Oprah turned down Meg's application to be a Weight Watchers ambassador. In recent pictures, Meghan Mull seems much thinner. Meghan appears to want to represent Weight Watchers like Sarah Ferguson did, however the PR department disclosed that Meghan eats very little when she is anxious. She's shed at least 15 pounds, according to friends. Sarah Ferguson is prepared to take on any task. She is also socially adept. Mac possesses zero social skills. Meghan doesn't put in any effort, her goal is to get wealthy and behave like a royal benefactor. She is also jobless. Everyone is staring at her directly. It's so closed in Hollywood. Recent pictures of Meghan's new slender bond have been entertaining us. As she marched in Vicus, we actually had to deal with that. Meghan couldn't figure out how to become the face of Weight Watchers like Sarah Ferguson did for Touch magazine, which even documented Meghan, but she could also become dead with her chicken legs, as one source described confusion over how Fergie successfully conducted herself after leaving the royal family. Naturally, Marco already has an advertising campaign because of her weight reduction journey following her pregnancy, which includes before and after pictures. Because Oprah and Meghan are both on diets, Marco's strategy needs her backing. Marco may represent Oprah as a frontman. Oprah did a great job managing Weight Watchers a few years ago, and she is a significant investment in the company. The fact that they have bought the whole network of health service providers from Weight Watchers is really intriguing, though. The Winfrey-based business will enter the markets for prescription drugs and medications for weight reduction. Due to the fact that both companies cater to the same target market, Winfrey's backing has helped Weight Watchers, a company located in New York, purchase 6.4 million shares in October 2015 with her great fortune. Her position on the board of directors of the firm was given to women who wished to lose weight as part of the arrangement, she had previously served in an advising capacity. The article said that Meghan's health was suffering because Harry had failed to notice her decline, and a source claimed that he thought Meghan was no longer her true self. He expressed fear that his wife might suffer in the same way that his mother did, despite the fact that his mother's bulimia was well known. His experiences have also increased his awareness of warning signs related to mental health issues. The slim dietitian finds her strange and realizes that she doesn't take care of herself. The 5 feet 6 inches Duchess's current projected weight is 120 pounds, around 20 pounds less than her weight from the previous year. The insider continued by saying that her loved ones are attributing her frail health to her hectic schedule, financial concerns, and ongoing public scrutiny. As a result of the strain, Meghan breaks, and it becomes evident that even if she can't get away with her antics thanks to PR pieces like this one, she was given a Perisic injection in order to reduce weight fast. The goal of this endeavor was to imitate Catherine's trim figure in Harry's wife's quest to transform into Diana 2.0. Work hard, be less ambitious, and lead a regular, peaceful, uncomplicated life if she truly feels overly stressed. The strain will subside.